Hi there, I'm Woodhouse 204, and this is episode 8 of our play of Suikoden 1, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I guess? Uh, we're Many on episode times. 8. Uh, this is this is Austin, by the way. He's my friend. Hey. He's here to, to enjoy the ride with you guys and uh, say some things um, some and and make some, some wonderful voice acting happen. Uh, I, I will try my best. I, I, yeah, that... You see? There it you is. See? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and on the last episode, <laughs> uh, we we defeated we defeated a boss. We defeated a boss. Did character. we? Oh yeah, that 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 boss. Yeah, no, that, I remember now. I was like, I was boss. like, did we? Oh, wait, no, I remember. <laughs> and I was thinking, you forgot that guy. Yeah. No, um, that that guy, and he 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 had no legs and was still yeah. like like six feet off I the ground like, or something. Like that. I feel like they could have made that boss like like that boss was an effective appearance, but I feel like it could have been more effective if he wasn't floating and yeah. like he was like he was like down on all fours or something. Uh, yeah, I could I could see the the yeah I could see that working. It, it's yeah. more like a more like a, a Dark Souls sort of like yeah Eldritch horror sort of character. Yeah, I mean, it's kind which, of against which the... generally hasn't been the feel of this. Like, like we're getting Death Machine, and Death Machine looks like like it could uh... be on a Saturday morning cartoon, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was uh... just about to say, like, we, we could have like an Eldritch Horror bo boss, and it would look better, but it, it kind of wouldn't match the tone of this game, would it? Because this, yeah, this game no. is, I mean, it's going for like you know political intrigue sort of stuff, but yeah, it, it's still. Quite it's still cheery. it's pretty tame yeah all yeah. things considered although uh, the thing that we did to craze was not was not okay for a, mm -mm, for a Saturday no. morning tv show uh, sorry, it was craze. so so it. so brutal and horrible that it, that it all had to be flashed out in a second it did, it did yeah so um so austin how have you been how have you been i've been good I've been Very. I've been good. I uh, you know went to work and and came back uh, early as I do on my Fridays and uh, it's it's I've been sitting around playing. Uh, I picked up uh, Valkyria Chronicles Four because I saw that it was on sale and uh, I'm I'm really enjoying it right now. I I like the. I like the the vibe of the world, yeah. Uh, and I like the little individualized character designs for otherwise like not terribly important story units. Uh, like even though they're not super important, they do still get like a personalized character design, and that's one yeah. of the things that I think Trails of Cold Steel also does really well. Uh, okay. Like all of the characters who go to the to anime high school with you, uh, like even if they're the, the like the ones in your class obviously are full on like they get full straight up character designs and stuff like that. Yeah. But the char but the kids who are not in your class also get uh, less distinct, but still like you can identify them individually. Uh, from every random NPC that you might normally encounter so, in the game. Let's say, for for example, this game where you go to a town and pretty much everybody looks the same, right? Yeah. There, there's none of that. None so of that. they do have it. They do have it for like standard people that you would encounter in like a, a city or something. But the the any student who goes to the the anime high school that you you go to, they are all definitely their own characters no i i have i have played valkyria chronicles 4 it was it was oh, like okay. a year ago i've, I've completed it um, Oh, i really enjoyed it there, there was a couple of points in, in the story that got me though it was just um it, it's it's weird actually that there's certain aspects of this game that kind of fall into line with in terms of the storytelling I oh mean, yeah I, I won't ruin anything for you but there's definitely yeah. some some things that kind of like they're going real hard on the drama mm -hmm. but it and, it and it goes into that like uncanny valley of like good drama good drama good drama bad drama bad drama bad drama uh -oh. and then it's funny drama funny drama it's oh funny. i'm excited oh i yeah. love i I, so, oh, I i i love me some some <laughs> bad melodrama it really does there's oh, some good. stuff that just like it just doesn't make sense like it's just oh, like oh yeah wait a minute 
this thing's happening over here. You don't look at the thing over here. We should be like paying attention to the thing that's happening right here. What are we doing? Like, is it, you know, is somebody's it like rattling the... some keys and everybody's like, what? What? <laughs> is it like the later seasons of Game of Thrones thing where people are, are teleporting across the continent or in, in, in just crazy amounts of time? Uh, oh, yeah, like I see they're, what you mean. they're really yeah. quickly getting from A to B and, you know, uh, stuff like that. Without real good plot reasons Without, to do so. Yeah, yeah in, in when when people would previously make a journey similar to it, it would take entire seasons. Yep. But, like, they're like, oh, no, we need him north of the wall now. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, but it's, it's even more, like... It's even less layered than that. It's just like oh, it's, wow. <laughs> it's just it's just in your face. Like I was watching it and just like crying with laughter because of this particular oh. scene was going on. Um, oh, man. it's, it's I'm a excited good one. For that. It's a good one. I think you will enjoy yeah. that. Um, I, I, yeah, because like so far, I, I think the game is beautiful. Like it it's really so is. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really uh, is. The way what, the what machines are all big and chunky. Oh, I'm on PC. Right. I, yeah. I, I take PC when I can these days, uh, just Sorry. so that I don't have to keep moving cords around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've got a Switch, and it's through there in the living room where, like, the whole family can play. I, I hate right. bringing that thing through for capture or anything, so if mm -hmm. I can get away with just having this machine on, that that's yeah. the way I go to. But um, yeah. it looks amazing. It's a, it's a great-looking game, uh, and I think that... Uh, I hope they do more. Too. Yeah. Cause it's a uh, it's surprising because it's like it's a it's a Sega like it's Sega in house. Yep. And uh, they hate making things. Turns out. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes we forget that uh, Sega makes stuff uh, that isn't bad Sonic games. Um, and Yakuza games. They make a lot of Yakuza games. Um, so speaking of, I, I actually oh, that's yeah. a great that's a great segue for for my my Yakuza uh, <laughs> yeah. segment. Because the last couple of episodes, if you've been watching those, we I've been playing a lot of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, oh, there's a chest there. I, I feel oh. like I feel like my time with Yakuza Like a Dragon is at an end, unfortunately. It's nearing an end, yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually going to end because the game the game did me dirty, Austin. Uh oh. oh the no. game did me dirty. So I am on chapter twelve, which, as I understand it, is getting pretty close to the end of the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to go to uh, Sotenbori, which is uh, a different place. Uh, it's, okay. It, so we're, the townscape that we that we usually are in, uh, Yokohama, is where most of the game takes place. You start right. the game in oh, what's the place most of the other games come from? Uh, 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 it's, it's a part it's of not, Tokyo. It's a part of it's Tokyo. Not, yeah, it's it's not like Kabukicho or anything like that, is it? Uh, no, it's got a different name. Anyway, not important. Mm -hmm. So you spend most of the time in Yokohama, and then towards, you know, th this chapter starts, and like, oh, something big's going down. We all have to go to, to um, Sotenbori. And, and you make it your way there, and then you have to try and infiltrate a, um, a Yakuza base. And you mm -hmm. do so successfully. And all the while, like, you, you're defeating, like, enemies. And I, I was I was level 32, 34, something like that. My my party levels, like, you know, they, they drifted a little bit. But they were yeah. all around that range. And mm -hmm. we were coming up against enemies that were, like, uh, level 40. But Ooh. I was still, like, breaking them. I was no problem yeah, so here, not losing anything. Everything was fine. Energy bars, like, you know, they were crumbling. Like, because I used, like, you know, the... You've got like uh, abilities that some characters are weak against, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, so this happens, and I get inside the enemy base, and it throws a boss at me. And I'm like, oh great, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a character that you will know if you've played the mm -hmm. Yakuza games before. I'm not going to spoil exactly who it is. Sure. And we start the fight, and I'm like, oh fantastic! I, I love this character. Uh, I can't wait to fight him. And pretty sure I already know who you're talking about. Was this person maybe voiced by Mark Hamill in the first game? I uh, I don't know. I, so the first Yakuza game uh, had an English. Uh, it, it did have an English translation. I know and that it was, had but I didn't full... realize it was. I didn't realize yeah, it was I think, Mark I Hamill think... was one of the voices. Yeah, he was in it. I don't remember if he was. I don't remember if he was specifically... I, I'm pretty sure he was specifically the character that I'm thinking of. The character that everybody loves in Yakuza. Uh, Go on, so just, just say the name. 
I literally can't remember his name at the moment, <laughs> but like his image right. is like perfectly in my brain. Okay. Eye patch, uh, eye patch, snake shirt. Majima. Yeah, yeah, go to yeah, Majima, Majima. Majima. That's it. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. Give you John. Yeah. Like, uh, um. Yeah. Uh, it's him. It's him. He's there, and you get to fight him. And I'm like, oh man, Can, uh, Majima is my favorite character from from the series. <laughs> I've not played all the games. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I've played some of them, yeah. not all of them, and. The fight starts. Bearing in mind my characters are uh, levels 32 to 34, and Majima's level 50. I'm like, Ooh. oh, okay, uh -oh. all right, okay, okay. We, it's, it's 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 gonna be a harder fight, but you know we we've done this before. You know we 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 have like characters in in our party that can heal and you know buff and debuff and that kind of thing. Like, great, okay, we'll we'll get through this. We'll we'll make it work. He attacks. So the game works in the sense that you your main character Ichiban. If he falls, you lose. Fair enough. Oh, that's, that's a pretty standard okay. trope. Gotcha. Pretty standard yeah. trope in, in RPGs. He does a special move on uh, Ichiban. First attack, and he falls. He's, he's dead. He's, he's gone. Oof. Party wipes. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, all right, okay. We can... So you you, pay, you lose a bit of money, and you go back into the fight. I'm like, okay, okay. okay. Um, I, we... Focus on buffing and like you know making sure that he doesn't fall, and we get him down. We get him down to like uh, two thirds of the health health bar, and then he does a special attack where like um, he 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 has like a doppelganger move where he breaks up into to five magimas. <laughs> I'm like, oh okay, and, and I'm I I lose all my money. All my money's gone oh, at this point. I'm no. just like, nah, this. I can't this do this. It. Like, All I'm stuck. Right. The game's done. Like, I it, hit the wall. Yeah, I hit. I hit the very, the very hard wall, and which is a shame because I, I wanted to see where it was going to go. But at this point, I don't think it's going to happen. So yeah, because you, you gotta, you gotta get back into it. You gotta get into the grinding again, and uh, so gotta... I, I, I looked up at a guide, and the guide basically says, um, yeah, at this point, you, if you want to defeat, defeat uh, Majima, you probably need to do some grinding. I'm like. Yeah, I'm out then. Uh, that's fine. You want yeah. me to grind? I'm out. <laughs> so yeah, I like every once in a while, I'll I'll feel the the desire to play something grindy. I'll feel the 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 want to to kind of like smash enemies until I feel that level up. But like, it doesn't happen often, and I I I have to kind of like sit there and. And save it in my brain for later. Uh, it's like it's like if I feel that I'm like, okay, what 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 game is on my list? What what games are on my list right now that that I think this might ben that this desire might yeah. benefit me right now? Uh, and usually I'll just be like, eh, I'll just play Dragon Quest or something, or I'll play a Final Fantasy that I've beaten a million times or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's a similar situation for me. Uh, we're back here. We were supposed to bring this guy the the water route, I think that's what it's called. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what he has to say. All right. Were you the the this guy? I the... think you were this guy. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you succeeded in breaking our vault. All right, I believe your story. As you said, the burning mirror is a terrible weapon, but it can be blown to pieces using another of our treasures, the Firewind Cannon. I'll have one built for you right away. We are grateful, Chief. Master McDowell, let's return to the village and deliver the news. The Chief of the Elves should believe us now. Ah, uh, naive Kirkus. <laughs> ah, Kirkus. Yes. Um, yeah, somehow, I was just watching the sure. episode. Uh, I was just watching last week's episode, and uh, I it was like, "Oh yeah, there's some there's some pretty good parts in last week's episode." I was yeah. like, I, "I don't I don't like to toot my horn too much, but uh, uh, there was some there was some pretty funny little jokes in there." Yeah, there was. So, speaking of funny jokes, uh, I've been playing another game today that I started. Mm -hmm. I figured like my, my journey with user is over, so um when the we were talking last time about the Nintendo Direct and all the stuff coming out of there. One of the games yeah. that was on there was uh Voice of Cards. Uh, which oh, is a, yeah. a, a Yoko Taro joint. 
uh, from uh, uh, I was going to say Shining Force. No, it's from yeah. Square Enix. Yeah. And um, there was a demo that went out on Steam. Mm -hmm. I had no idea about that, by the way. So when I learned of it, I, I tried it out. It's it's really good. It's yeah it's, yeah it's I really I was good. interested. I was interested because I was like, yeah, the the card idea is that's that's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's kind of vogue right now, isn't it? Like everything, yeah, is I, just I, like everything oh, kind of cardish. And I was like, th this is normally uh, a, uh, a a trend that I hate seeing because I don't typically like card games. But this seems much more of like this is just like an RPG where everything is displayed through cards rather than like a trading card game where you know i've got to do some deck building and stuff like that so yeah it, it's I literally like the game the game aesthetic is cards mm -hmm. otherwise it's a turn-based rpg with what seems to be really good writing and voice acting cool like, i i don't know how much of it you've seen like not it, much it, just pretty much just the the just the trailer Okay, so the the aesthetic is is cards, but it's it's told as if like you're there in a tavern, and this guy is is DMing your own personal like. Uh, Dungeons oh, and Dragons that's game. fun! Nice, I like so, that. So the guy is like narrating for you, but every so often he has like little bits to add in uh, as well. Like mm -hmm. like like your DM would like you know, like you normally would, yeah. Yeah. So the guy's like, uh, and the uh, the queen said this. She's actually eyeing you up a bit as well, like you know stuff like, like your <laughs> yeah. DM would would be saying, you know, like stuff like that, and it it's it's well written, um, which yeah. I wasn't expecting because like a lot of I I don't know how you feel about it, but a lot of Square Enix's stuff just has been kind Oof. of shovelware. It's just been it's been put out there for the sake of being put out there, rather than just you know really crafted to you know yeah. And I feel like even in cases where it does feel very well crafted in certain aspects, it almost never does in the writing. I'm talking about Octopath Traveler, uh, oh, yeah. which is a, a beautiful game. Oh yep. my gosh, when I first saw it, I was like, I, I was just in love with it. Yep. Uh, and, and then I started playing it, and I was like, this, this, this game kind of sucks. Uh, so how far into it did you get? Not terribly. <laughs> I, okay. I I think I so I picked the merchant girl, and uh, I started going. I think I picked up the knight, and then I I, I by the time I hit thief guy's town, I I, I stopped playing. Wow, that's really early on. It's so really I, early. I got to I I think it's done in chapters. It's it's been a while. Like mm -hmm. it, I I picked it up when it first came out on the Switch. Yeah, and I got to like. I think maybe halfway through the game, and I've, I've discussed this before on some of our other stuff, so I'll get through it quickly. It, the game just like the mechanics of the uh, turn-based like stuff where you you're breaking characters to make them more susceptible yeah. to damage is a cool idea. Yeah, the balancing, like that. The balancing just... of it is awful. It's just yeah. So when you get to that later part of the the game, it normal random encounters like what we've been doing here. Can take like take half very hour. very long. Oh no, not acceptable. Like that's not way too okay. long. Like yeah. I'm, I'm there, and and the game demands that you grind as well. Yeah. So like this game, like it's just artificially lengthening itself. It's just not. Fun yeah. At all. Oh. After returning from Dwarf's Village. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Gremio, somebody left their barbecue on. What do you think it is? Are you sure? I Are you know. sure you don't know? <laughs> I feel like we might know. I feel like we've been given a couple of hints. Yeah. That direction is... Not important. Uh, uh, it's west. Be. It's west. Too late! Uh, <laughs> so I remember. What's going on so, with Kirkus? <laughs> I'm not sure. I know I was saying like there's some similarity between this game and the uh, Valkyria Chronicles uh, 4. The writing mm -hmm. in Valkyria Chronicles 4 is better than this. Yeah, <laughs> but I, yeah, I I tend to cut them a little bit of slack on this because it's like it's an older know, game. 
it's an older game. We don't, we don't. Uh, the, the budget was tiny, I would imagine, and like, yeah, it's probably. We we we've we've defended the the honor of this game. I I still enjoy it, uh, and it and it it very kindly gives us something to to point towards and go, hey, you know, th this is happening. The uh, days, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a uh, pretty uh, well, some pretty wretched translating there. Yeah, not after the dwarves' village. Yeah, it's just like a narrated Too late. story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, is Kirkus uh, is Kirkus GMing us right now? What's yeah. going on? Have you ever heard of a? a I know, it, like you know, um, soccer isn't really appreciated that much in in America. But have you ever heard of a, a guy called uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic? No, that is a that is a heck of a name though. It's, it's I, a great I, name. There's he's, a lot going on there. He's a very handsome Swedish man uh, mm -hmm. who also happens to be a world-class footballer. I think he's retired now. Uh, mm -hmm. He also refers to himself in the third person. You know what? And, and totally, and totally does it well. Like he's yeah. like Zla Zlatan would have done this. Uh, Zlatan was the man of the match, of course. Uh, so he's like he's like the Rock. You know, the Rock says. I. I guess he is, but the that's Rock just does kind of speak in the third person. That's when a he's persona, in like, though. When he's like in the rock mode. Yeah, that's who Zlatan is. Zlatan yeah. is, is that guy. He's just he's just kind of like a like like just this larger than life sort of weird sports personality guard robe. Ooh, we're overloaded. I guess we give up Mate. on the guard. Uh, it, oh, it goes back in the box. It goes back. Oh, in the box. okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, oh, we can't use it. Set it on fire. <laughs> If we can't have hold it, it, nobody can. We can't hold on to it right now. And... Uh, we have too uh, many things. No duh. I see that we have an ornament. Yeah. Do we? Do we? Do we I. I'm. I, I think generally speaking, I. I'm. I, be, uh, because I don't know if they have any sort of use beyond just putting them in your bathhouse and like I looking at them. Do. No. Generally I... speaking, I'll probably. Be like, let's let's get rid of the let's get let's rid of the ornaments the before before we get rid of anything else. You're right. You're right. That'll do for now. That gives us one extra space. Uh, let yeah. Us... Maybe Kirkus uh, can equip it. I don't know. Who has it? Victor, I think. Yeah. Victor. Let's see if Victor can equip it. But yeah, um, okay. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is, is that guy, uh, and he definitely pulls that off. I don't mm -hmm. even remember why I'm mentioning Zlatan Ibrahimovic now, uh, <laughs> but hey, he's a guy and he's he's cool. Yeah, he's, he's very cool. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of too many like too many sports stars that I can think of that are like just these huge characters the way that they used to be with like Mike Tyson and stuff. Unless they are professional wrestlers who are being characters. <laughs> Uh, but like, there's like Conor McGregor, I guess, uh, is is kind oh, of God, uh, yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, you're, you're just describing boxers, though. Like, I'm talking like yeah, boxers and like MMA. But he's yeah, a... he's like a he's like a football guy. Uh, maybe there's some dudes in basketball that I'm that I'm not. Are, are we outside of. your your comfort zone here, Austin? Are we, are we, we are. I'm not a sports guy. Oh, okay. I'm like like I said my. Uh, I've told you before, the extent of my sports is professional wrestling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like 100% the 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 uh, dramatized steel chair soap operas. Like that, that is my <laughs> that is my time. my yeah. jam. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. Um, I I've been for some reason I I got out of uh, soccer a long time ago. Like I, it held, held no interest to me. But uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos recently of like somebody's somebody's put up like all these um, radio stories that people talk about, like ex-professionals talking about like other ex-professionals mm -hmm. in these stories. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what used to happen, blah blah blah. We get out, you know, and stuff would happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I love sports documentaries, though. Yeah. Something about the way they film them. Something about the way they they like a lot of times. Even if I'm not interested in the sport, I'm interested in the people. Uh, yeah. And like their stories and stuff like that, and like just the crazy stuff that people could get away with 
back in the 70s when they were when it was like it, it was a, a little bit closer to like gang warfare than it was a, a sport well you watched the um the chicago bulls uh documentary right i haven't seen that one but but i saw it and i was like i i I saw i saw like commercials for it and i was like i should put that on on a list of things to watch because that sounds like it would be super super cool and back when i was a kid even though i didn't really watch basketball uh i same i i love the chicago bulls because it was like michael jordan and and you know all the like they they just had a lot of characters yeah scotty pippen and 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 Dennis Rodman and all those yep. guys, uh, so like they they just had a lot of character to them. We didn't we didn't get any basketball over here, but we all knew right. who the Chicago Bulls were. So oh yeah, when somebody says like, "Hey, it's a documentary about the Chicago Bulls," it's like, oh, fifteen year old me like knows who that is and it was is like interested. <laughs> and I watched it and I wasn't disappointed. It was a very good documentary. Uh, yeah, maybe some some insight into like how the. I think um, Jordan is still the the uh, like richest ex sports star oh, yeah, in the no, world. Yeah, because yeah, of his Nike deal, oh, his shoes. Nike deal. Sorry. It's them shoes. Yeah. Wait, he just threw that. Oh, guy. oh I love that. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay. Oh, I love that. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Brilliant. This game has like lots of little touches like that. Though. Yeah, I, I anytime I see the random mobs like engage with each other and stuff like that, so I, I love that. So much care yeah. has gone into making this. Because, I mean, all the random mobs seem to have their own personality. Yeah, they kind of do. You definitely can't say, you know, to every RPG. Like, there, there are some, often, there are some RPGs not. that I have a long and storied issue with their monsters. Um, I'm talking about Trails. Uh, the Trails series, as much as I love it, I hate their monster design. I, I absolutely abhor it. Every single time I see some kind of, like, it's always just, like, some kind of dumb blobish thing or, like, a jellyfish that floats or, or it's just, uh uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I think we missed, uh, yeah, I think we missed the, uh, missed the town. That said, it, it might not even be there anymore because it's all... Because it just looks you know, like yeah, a burnt that, tree. It's that big tree. Yeah. Uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. So, uh, talking of other like RPGs that... I, I was going to... So, Austin and I were, were going to take a quick look at a, a, a particular RPG that just got uh, announced. and and Well, not announced. Released, sorry. And that's Astria Ascending. Oh, yeah. And I was yeah. I was really excited for that. Like I, I know that um, our our friends on our Discord were like uh, were maybe not as positive as I was, uh, and it turns out for for good reason. I, <laughs> I yeah I uh, I had seen the trailer for it and I was like oh that's really pretty, yeah. uh, but I'm not seeing anything other than battle gameplay. Uh, which worries me a little bit, but not not enough to not enough to completely dissuade me from from checking it out. So yeah, it it's been very um, controversial, so we say. Some people seem to like it, and other people seem to think it's terrible. Mm. So unfortunately, we I'd I'd be interested in checking it out just to see where where perhaps I would fall on the fall on the fence on that. Yeah, but I. I know that I am. I am also generally a little less inclined towards just nonstop battles. I, I need. I need something to break it up a little bit. Same story is important. Mm-hmm. So, hey, we're here. <laughs> this is awful. Where is everybody? <laughs> How horrible! Dude, this is just like Star Wars. They they just disappear. Don't worry about it. Our efforts were. That's right. In vain. All of our efforts were in vain. But why? Why? Please tell me, Master McDole, what good were our efforts? Why did this happen? We did our best. I was insulted and abused, but I fought on. And yet... Yet... Kirkus... 
that line read? Kirkus. Kirkus. Nothing. Nothing remains. Everything I tried to protect. Special sprites just for this. When everything was over, I planned to give this ring to Sylvania. Poor Sylvania. Now this ring has no hand to adorn. It's useless now. Oh man. There's nothing. Yoink! This belongs <laughs> to Romeo <Vimeo> now. <laughs> Kirkus, this ring is your hope. And you must never give up hope. The rest of us don't have any inventory space. Yes. You have to hold on to this. <laughs> you have to hold with, to it. With just a little bit of hope and one slot in your inventory, you can survive and live on. And that goes for humans as well as elves. <laughs> Grimia. I'm... Out of inventory space. <laughs> Young master. Wait, he literally just pocketed it. He didn't give it back. <laughs> this ring is yours. And you have to hold on to it. <laughs> How did you do that? Young master. Let's return to the castle. We must never let this tragedy repeat itself. Question. Mm -hmm. They still have the mirror, correct? Uh, I think they were building the cannon, and then, yeah, the bad guys, I don't see why they wouldn't still have the, the mirror. Weren't they going to use the mirror on the dwarves as well? Uh, I think so. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. I'm wondering if it would work as well, since I, I, I figured part of the reason why the mirror worked so well as a weapon is because the elves were idiots who lived in trees. Uh, but... Like the dwarves, they they live on a big rock. Sorry, in my head I was just like, the idiots who live in trees. And I'm just thinking, yeah. oh, you watching Fern Gully would just be like, idiots! Idiots <laughs> everywhere! God damn these fairies! Be eaten by a toxic gas monster. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, you read this book. Let's defeat Quanda Rossman's army and destroy the burning mirror. So I misread that. I thought we were just going to forget everything that happened here and just be like, okay, well, I guess that happened. But no, yeah. we're going to, we have to return and say, hey, we, let's mobilize and then come back. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> They're like, all right, well, we can chalk that one up to, uh, to a loss. Let's yeah. uh, head on back home. Okay. That is our only deliverance. Damn. runs up to you stairs let's go for the sake of Sylvina I would that's not what I was expecting if I'm being honest I was expecting yeah like, yeah we come since... back and then uh, we come back everything's still fine I was at yeah I was surprised by that little plot twist yeah okay game okay yeah good job good job sweet kid of course, if any village is going to be thoroughly destroyed, it's going to be the elves. Oh, it's you again. Kuro Mimi cannot caught here. Must help everyone. Uh oh. Kill it! Who are you guys? Hey, you're that traitor Valeria. Fancy meeting you here. There's a price on your head. Better turn yourself in. I'm not sure that's Why? how price on your head works, mate, but okay. Can be. Young master, we're surrounded. This is a bit dangerous. Thanks, Gremio. Thanks. What are you talking about? This is extremely dangerous. <laughs> Full stop. What? No exclamation yeah. point. Yeah. Hey, you there. If I turn myself in. Will you promise not to hurt the others? <laughs> a deal, eh? 
All right. I swear to God, I won't hurt them. Very convincing. Valeria, by law, traitors are put to death. I know. Then... The burning mirror must be destroyed. That can't be done if we all die here. The Liberation Army can't afford to lose its leader. A leader must stay alive. That's why... Oh no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not it's doing choice that. time. We're, it is choice time, but we're Paragon here. We're not today. losing. We're not losing Valeria. Valeria is a great character. I I like Valeria. Yeah. So stop it, Valeria. Come now, McDowell. We mustn't lose sight of your bigger goals. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a good girl. Behave yourself. Then kill the elf kobold and the rest of the traitors. Oh, okay. What? You just swore to God. God? There is no God in these modern times. Ah, oh, hot take. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I post on r slash atheism. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, here they come. Grimio riding a roller coaster for some reason. Kuromimi fight. No can die now. Oh, we get Kuromimi for a while. All right. Your favorite character. Well, probably forever, yeah. Uh, just so you know, I'm pretty certain that Kuromimi is terrible. So, hey. Yeah, great. that's that's what my guess would be. They, they gave him <laughs> to us and put him right in the back, so. Yeah, uh, I'm worried that hopefully. he won't be able to do anything. Oh, look at that. Yeah, how about Thank that? You, game. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you, game. Thank you, game. Oh, he has a medicine, so at mm -hmm. least he can do that. So, yeah, that's he can something, heal. I guess. Oh dear. So yeah, uh, yeah. one of one of the games I was wanting to look at was that uh, Astrius ending. Uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I, I, I'm undecided. Uh, yeah. You definitely turn me around because I, I was ready to just write it off as being like, okay, it's it's too controversial. I'm not sure it's worth my time, but. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. Could be. Um, I don't know. The, the reason for that is, though, because uh, uh, it's, ta it's it's game pass time, everybody. Uh, if, hey. uh, if you have your drinks, uh, please take a sip now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ooh, Jupo's in trouble. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. We can do so Hmm. Everyone's, in Everyone's trouble. kind of in a little trouble. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so... Actually, no, we'll, we'll keep him attacking and... Yeah, back row can... And the there we go. Yeah, so uh, Xbox Game Pass put out a, a massive stack of games this week, um, including Astria uh, Ascending. There was a um, a Spike Shun... Uh, is it Spike Shunsoft? Spike Chunsoft, yes. Spike Chunsoft uh, game that uh, they put out as well. Um, it's not a new game, but it, it is... Like the people that like those games definitely like those games, so mm -hmm. having that on there for, for no extra dollars is nice. Which um, game is it? It is AI. AI, I the heard of that one. Sophorium files or something like that. It's oh, I think I I think I do know what you're talking about. It's got kind of like the it it looks really like stylish and anime looking kind of. Yes. I mean that okay. that's all of their games to be fair. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's that, that, uh, oh, oh, that's Dog and Rafa, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, they also put out a game called um, uh, I'm Mighty Goose. Mighty Goose oh, is yeah. is a uh, is a metal slug game yeah. where you control a goose that shoots gun. big guns and drives yeah. a big tank and is two player. Oh, which, that sounds fun! Yes, I love me some so, metal slug. I played that with my daughter for a little bit uh, yesterday, and she loved it because the game starts. You you don't have like straight up two players. You have your main character, Mighty Goose, and mm. your uh, side character, and the side character can be chosen from a, a group of characters. And the first oh, okay. one you get is just a duck, and the way that the duck attacks is it turns around and it poops out an egg at enemies. <laughs> so it's that kind of game, and it does it very that's, well. That's fun. 
We're losing, even though we're not. Is this it? You all weak. Crown made me not give up. Big talk, eh? Get him, man. Oh, I see a sprite. Yep. Oh, okay. Commander McDowell, I'll help you. What's what? going on? Sir, some fellows calling themselves the Liberation Army arrived. What? R retreat! Get out of here! Hey! It, here we it's are. you guys! The gang's all here! Yep. Bandana, ba bandana, and who could forget bandana? <laughs> Master Matthew, how did you get here? Not through the forest. Somebody warned me about the burning mirror. Oh, she made it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Kirkus, 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 I missed you. Sylvina. How? Why? <laughs> who, who this guy has a Sonic the Hedgehog going? voice to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> credit that to me. There you go, then. Okay. It was incredible. There was a flash, and Stallion charged forward at an unbelievable speed. <laughs> I wish you could have seen how fast I can run. Oh, I really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvina! Sylvina! Hey! Don't you want to hear about my speed? Not really, do you? <laughs> Yes, the ring. Now I understand that hope should never be abandoned, even though that's the point I was trying to make to you earlier. Maybe Kirkus is supposed to say this? Uh, I... I... Hmm. Yeah. All right. I... <laughs> can, can we defend this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think so. What is it? A ring? What is it, Kirkus? This... I. When everything is over. After Commander McDowell left the castle, Humphrey and Sanchez arrived with survivors of the old Liberation Army. We now have the manpower to fight Quanda Roseman's army. Commander McDowell, please give us the signal to move forward. Okay. <laughs> it's not time yet. Hmm. I I'm not sure how far we can we can defend the the bad writing. Yeah, that was rough. That was that pretty was... bad. Like the wrong character saying things. Like that's. It's, it's pretty rough. Oh, it's one of these fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the first instance of the uh, army battle. Mm hmm. Quando Rossman, you'll pay for burning down our village. Liberation Army, conceit. I shall destroy you on behalf of His Majesty the Emperor. This is the first battle for new Liberation Armies. Give it your best. <laughs> Ooh. This Ooh. is the first new battle for new Liberation Army is, period. Yeah. Um, so we get to choose what kind of... Oh, we have others as well. We have thieves. Oh, yeah, we could throw in Giovanni and... Uh... Oh, okay. Ren. Interesting. Uh, strategist, boost, charge, attack, power. And we have those. Okay. Um, Check I the think... enemy strategy. Interesting. I think we just charge for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. It's the first one, so I imagine it, it, it'll largely be pretty... Uh, oh, let's let's use the trick. Pretty forgiving. Attack yeah, we throw... Three. Yeah. All right, Jupo, go get him. <laughs> I like buddies. this guy. He's just a good buddy. I'm a good buddy. Cooks. Cooks. Black gold. Black gold. Interesting. Yeah. Former Imperial team. Victor's team. Well, I like I like Victor's like okay, uh, Victor, you're not in the commander's team. Alright, then I'll just go make my own team. Yeah, I'm gonna make my own team. Hungry Blackjack. Team. Fishermans. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bender. Calm down. Uh, bandits, Lapont family. Lapont family. I like that Lapont family is like has twenty four, 
and you know that like 23 of that is just Lapont. Yeah. And Eileen is just there to like go, yay, Lapont! Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go with our strongest team. Everybody, let's go! <laughs> wow. Oh no! Oh, look at all the little angels. Yeah, it's mostly that guys though. No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Do you, do you press a button to interrupt and like change the commands around if things aren't looking so hot or what? I, I guess so. Oh, okay, I guess. So... Hmm. How are we looking? It's not looking great, I've got to admit. Uh, uh, maybe... Okay. And then... Children of the Runes. And Vicky. Magician's gold digger. Yeah, let's throw... Let's throw some arrows at him. Soldier beauties. We can't be late. Oh, that's gonna go with poly for us. Yeah, that's gonna go bad. <laughs> no! Well, some of them died. But mostly our guys. Ah, oh, jeez, we've got two guys left. Do we uh, have, uh, maybe, maybe we use one of the others? Thieves, give the, give us a boost in attack power? Uh, I think it said Matthew could do that? Leave it to me! Oh wait, no, I think you were him. The enemy's the next enemy's... plan is bow attack! Okay, so, does charge. that mean we want to charge? Yeah. I think, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we throw a pont in there. <laughs> I swear by my sword that I'll defeat you! With my two guys. I only needed one. Oh, never mind, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. We're stamped out to our regret. Um, I, you know what? I probably should have saved that. Try again. Try again. Loading. Nice of them to give this to us. Instead of just being like, alright, you're back to the main screen. I mean, th this is the first one, so... Oh! It's yeah. Ted. Ted! Oh, hello. Oh, is that Ted? Oh, I forgot all about sweet Ted. Yeah. Wait. Dwarf trail. Oh! Wait. Yeah, Wait. so no. try again. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! All right. We're back. It didn't take that long. Round two. Yeah, it didn't. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we yeah. should we should give it a try again because it's a, it's a good time. It is. And uh, Mo doesn't want to play it with me, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, are, it's not are that you... she doesn't want to play it with me, it's that she just doesn't want to play it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Context needed. Yeah. Are, are, are you going to get the, um, the TMNT? Uh, game oh yes, up. absolutely. No okay, question. We, we should definitely play I don't, some of that as well. I don't even. I don't even like TMNT. I'm gonna be honest. I, I really don't. It's not. It's not a big part of my my childhood DNA. Okay. Like it was, it was a little bit, but but it wasn't really ever my thing. Uh, and but that game looks awesome, and yes. I want to play it anyway. Yes. Oh, that's a that's a team. That is a team. Here's the plan. I don't, I don't even know who that middle guy is. Oh wait, I remember him. It's now. Humphrey. Yeah, he doesn't talk. Yeah. So. Thirty-nine. How'd that know. happen? Oh, okay. So you you boosted the attack. Yep. I used Matthew's strategic uh, yeah. prowess and boosted that attack. But yeah, we should we should definitely play some of that when that comes out. Um, mm -hmm. My my daughter might join in as well because she wants to play as April O'Neil. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that she was added into it, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's really cool." Yeah, I I feel like that that group is doing a lot of good stuff though. Like Streets of Rage mm -hmm. Four had no yeah, right to guys, be as good as it was. Those guys are like, awesome. Yeah. I uh, what is it? Is it Dot Emu? Yeah. Is that yeah. the uh, that's the the developer? Yeah, those guys are great. Yeah. I I hope they just keep making beat 'em ups. They they can go as long as they want. So I'm wondering uh, if magic is good against charge attacks. That would make sense. 
Because I, I feel like it should be a triangle sort of like, you know, yeah. like rock, paper, scissors motion. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Let's let's try Luke here and see how that works for us. Wind rune, show your power. Oh. Oh! It worked. I think it worked. Looks like... So if you do magic, they don't... They just straight up don't get an attack. So we did so the attack. So we do it we again. Can't. No, I, I, the thing I was going to say is we can't we can't do it again with Luke. He, he's one right. and done sort of thing. Right, right. Uh, oh, and I can't use Matthew oh, and... again, so... This time, this time let's use... Uh, what's his face? Um, Giovanni. Why should I have to? The enemy's, the enemy's next, plan, next is... plan is... I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. What what a way to what a way to present that information. All right, Lapant's going in. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna go okay. I mean, it's in our favor now. Yeah. So this is going slightly better. Oh. Oh, never they're mind. doing a magic attack. Uh oh. Never mind. Oof. <laughs> no. Why is he going the wrong? No. Uh. Here's the report. Eileen was wounded. Oh, okay. 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 Weird. So. In these, there is a possibility that characters can die. And you oh. don't want that. You don't want that. That's a bad time. That is a bad time. If if she's I'm not sure if that still counts if she's wounded or not, but if she's not in the castle, I'm doing this again. Yeah, it looks like we're in trouble. Uh <laughs> Wow, characters can just permanently die? Yeah. Um, oh, that's nuts. Do we do a magic attack? I yeah, I think so. That seems like it'd be the the best. <laughs> I hate Vicky so much. Oh no! Oh, are they? So they use arrows and, ma and magic arrows is arrows is over magic. Okay. Yeah. So I you know see. what we do? You know what we so, do? We just... uh, yeah. So it looks like we uh, we just. We, we, we just, oh, we just, oh, oh, it's oh, time to fight. First yeah, time? Uh, All right, let's yeah, do this. Yeah, I'm excited. Have, I, I, I have no idea excited. what this fight looks like or nope, haven't no seen idea. it before. Nope. Just ready to go. Yeah, the, we're novices at this, so we'll give it our best. We'll see how it goes. It, we might be... Very bit, new. Very, mm, yeah. Man, the, these things are hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, well, not that we would know. Oh, mm, mm. Even yes. this is definitely our first try. Yeah. No, yeah. it was not our first try. <laughs> okay, narrator. Um, yeah. This this is the first battle for the new Liberation Armies. Give it your best. This is it, guys. Yeah, don't don't mess this up. Yeah. Um, one of the things I wanted to to say about um, let's do that. So, I was talking before about like all the games that got released onto Game Pass this week. Mm -hmm. The the one I haven't mentioned yet, Scarlet Nexus got put on there too. Oh, my friend played that, uh, and I don't know what he thought of it, but I I saw I, I saw it pop up on my recommendeds in Steam, uh, yeah. because it was like your friend played this, uh, and it looks very pretty. Uh, I I like the look of it a lot. Uh, but I think, uh, so was it made by the same guys that made Code Vein, I think it was? Yes, I think so. So, that worries me a little bit. Yeah. Code Vein had a great character creator. Loved that. Uh, <laughs> the, Wait, he and... just stole some stuff. Ooh, right, nice. That's not really what I wanted, if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah, Code Vein. Sorry, you were saying. Yeah, Code Vein pretty solid gameplay had some had some interesting ideas uh but there comes a point in the game that is maybe the worst dungeon i've ever seen in a souls game ever is, is, ever. is there water involved no but <laughs> okay. so imagine imagine a a giant glorious white chapel Okay. That, is, that has this intricate kind of spiky architecture and many, many, many hallways that, that just go in a billion different directions. Okay. And every once in a while, those hallways 
Uh, it's almost like you're on a giant scaffolding or something like that, trying to get to the center of this church place. And, oh, we did it. First oh, try. First awesome. try. Well done. Yes. Wasn't even paying attention. They make no. these too easy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. It's time for the burning mirror. No exclamation point. It's time for the burning mirror. <laughs> He's not very enthused. He's just no. like, ah, it's, it's time for the burning mirror. Where's he going? That's a big mirror. It's literally just a big mirror. I kind of expected it to be bigger. I'm being honest. Yeah. And like, I also expected maybe there to be like wheels on the back of it so you could adjust it. it. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> okay. I, may, I mean, maybe this this Quanda Roseman guy is so strong he can just pick it up. He can just it pick it up and he's. Yeah. Forty-five degrees to your destruction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll burn you all with this. Damn it! Quanda's planning to use the burning mirror, and we're just standing around letting him. Yeah. What? <laughs> all troops retreat. No, forget that. Disperse. Keep casualties to a minimum. Ah, let's all run around. Ah! <laughs> Aha! Spreading out to reduce casualties, eh? But it's too late now. Traitors to the Empire! This is the price you pay! Take that, exclamation point! Yeah, just you wait. Uh-oh. What? What's going on? Oh, by the way, we're here now. Ho oh, ho ho! That's what you get for stealing. See the power of our windfire cannon. Chief of the Dwarves! Looks like we got here in time, young elf. Alright, let's go into the castle and take Quanda Rossman's head. Come on, McDull! <laughs> Doc, okay. Taking his head! I'm going too, young master. Oh, goody. You'll never go anywhere without the main character, Gremio. Yeah. Please, Master McDoll, take me too. I'll go too. All right. Who else is coming? Kuramimi, go too. Say friends. Kuramimi, go. So nobody? <laughs> nobody at all? You really hate <laughs> this guy, don't you? I am not a fan of his portrait picture, art. Yeah. It's real weird looking. <laughs> All right, let's go. Don't wait. Don't we have room for one other person? Oh no, no that, I think that's everybody. That's everybody, yeah. isn't it? Okay. Uh, we are not full health. Let's change that. Yeah, that's kind of a it's kind of a messed up thing to do right after. Uh, Right after yeah, a significant I mean, little jump. Yeah, let, let's look at the formation as well. Like, yeah, all short characters shall be at the back. Oof. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that that, that could not have been set up worse. worse. No. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to save that game because mm -hmm. we won that victory and we also didn't lose anyone. So I'm very happy yeah. with that. Yeah, that's actually great. Uh, Oh, there's doors. I like doors. I like chess more! Steel shield. Who has that? Uh, oh, this guy. Fantastic. Yeah, he probably needs equipment anyway. Yeah, he is on the front line, so... Let's... In fact... Yeah. I haven't seen... I was just about to say I haven't seen anyone else with a, with a shield, but Valeria's right mm -hmm. there with a the shield as well. Oh, so. okay. I wonder if Victor can wear a shield. Uh, hand over that. No, he nope. cannot. Because it's it's blacked out, so... Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, okay. it, we got our shield, peoples. Yeah. Wow. These guys again. Uh, I got a couple new ones. Is, is that a lady with a... With a y yeah, it's a lady with a saber. Sword? Yeah. yeah. Okay, she rides on boats, I guess. I don't know. 
But yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I also started playing uh, a little bit of uh, GTA Online. Um, oh, you're one of which, those people. And, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I guess I'm That's bad or something. Thing. That's a terrible yeah, thing to say, by the way. Don't, don't That's a terrible that thing to say to anybody for any reason. It really is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. No, uh, I, yeah, no, I, I was like, uh, I, I played GTA V, you know, a million years ago when it came out. Same. I enjoyed and, it. And, yeah, I, I thought it was a really good game. Um, and then I was like, I was like, oh, you know, they sure do have an online mode on this now. Let me check that out. And I did. And it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, like, it's okay. It, a lot <laughs> of it is very money sinky, but... You oh know, my god, let, uh, let's put this down. Let's go play GT on, uh, Online right GTA now. GTA Online, yeah, let's wow. do it. Uh, yeah, I did that, and then I, I, I played some Red Dead Online, uh, which I had the exact opposite experience, where I was like... I, I literally just walked up to somebody, or, or people walked up to me in one of the towns, because there's only like five towns and the rest is wilderness. And if I'm out in the wilderness, nobody bothers me. But I heard some people's mics and they were like, hey, wait, 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 wait up, wait up. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, how's it going? And I was like, I, I was laying in bed because uh, and didn't have my mic set up and everything. And I so I just, I, you know, waved at them and they were like, hey, why aren't you talking? Why don't you get your mic? And then one of them just runs up and stabs me to death. And nice. so I was just like, ah, yes. All right. Uh, the I'm like, uh, I'll play a little bit more of this maybe where I, I just go out and hunt. Because I like, I, I just like going out and hunting. Uh I haven't like robbed any banks or anything like that. I haven't done any crazy missions. Uh, whereas in GTA Online, I set up a nightclub and did a bunch of missions relating to that. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then now I have this uh, this little steady stream of income coming in through my nightclub, uh, which is pretty cool. What you're describing sounds a lot like modern day Skyrim, essentially. You're liking like the Almost. similar aspects of it. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's rather it's, than the it, interactive like online aspect of it. Yeah, I like I like feeling immersed in in a world, and I think Rockstar a does world. a pretty in a world. Yeah. Uh, I, I I I like feeling immersed in a world and uh, not feeling like I I have to do anything. Yeah. Like like I. I when I was a kid, it was different. Whenever I played like GTA 3 as a kid, I never did the missions. Now I'm always doing the missions if I see them. I feel weird like just leaving it there and I'm like, I, I gotta go do that. Uh, so it, I think that's one of the things that's changed for me becoming a, a dad and having like a full time job and, and all that kind of mm -hmm. grown up stuff. If I'm not doing the missions, I feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah. It, it's yeah. like it's like I'm I'm not I'm not really getting anything out of the the wanton chaos and havoc anymore, yep. which is a shame because that used to be like ninety percent of the appeal to the game for me. Yeah, because it was just like, how many cars can I stack up on this thing and then blow up with C four? Blow up, yeah. Like my my yeah. friends and I played um, the original uh, Call of Duty three on the mm -hmm. Xbox three hundred and sixty. And I remember playing that, giggling with my friend at about three in the morning, because what would happen was, uh, Call of Duty 3 was the, the first uh, online one that had vehicles in it. Um, oh, okay. So what we were doing was, <laughs> it still makes me laugh now, we were going on, we went on different sides, different teams, uh, different sides of the, uh, the map, and we would both get into the... Uh, the same jeep whilst we were on different teams and we'd call out where our teammates were so we could go and kill them and whoever the driver was you would drive you would just run over people to get points yeah. and the other guy was just sat there just shooting guys so we were like yeah. we, were, we were on our own team just like you know running around just being, being a good force of balls yeah just yeah being a force of chaos essentially yeah i, I remember time. doing yeah, I remember doing a lot of that when I was like in high school. There was a a, a LAN cafe um, yeah. that that we would go hang out at and play like the I think it was like maybe the first Battlefield game, uh, okay. and we would just like do literally that where we're like hopping in vehicles and I'm like I'm like dude uh, the, he's like hey get the helicopter still and I'm like I don't know how to fly this and then I crash into something. Doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter yeah. if you know how to do it. Yeah. I was like, hey, I'm still learning, Dad. Oh. Oh. Devil armor. I, I wonder if this is one of the ones that I can use the um, uh, deadly fingertips on. Mm. I also... Yeah, interesting creature to uh, to just be hanging out at the castle. <laughs> also, I, I feel like the, uh, the little circle underneath him maybe could be a little bit more centered, perhaps? Instead yeah. of being over his, like, left like, glove. I don't know. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's a bit odd. It's like under his shadow. Yeah. Man. Uh, Maybe if about... we look at it from this perspective. <laughs> talking about, um... There we go. Yeah, I just killed it. Sweet. All right. And we got some decent chunk changes out. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. Okay. Do we... Nope, that's... Oh. What is that meant to be? I think it's a bed. No, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure where to go, if I'm being honest. Um, and we are very quickly running out of time. I think maybe we have this battle and we call it a day, which seems mm -hmm. odd not to do that against the boss after last time. But, you know, we're about yeah, to it's... take out Quanda. I think that's his name. Yeah, we're about to fight Quanda Rossman. Quanda Rossman, yeah. Which I think is a pretty interesting name. Yeah. Uh, I, I keep catching myself from saying Rwanda for some reason because I. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like it sounds, it sounds almost a little African or something like yeah. that. And, uh, and and it's uh, it's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't it's know. an odd name. I don't know. After after today's episode, Austin. I... Are you still okay with the, everything that's going on in in, in the world of Suikoden? I know I am. It's yeah. just that yeah. I didn't. I had. I had no idea how bad the translation was until coming. Oh, uh, I, bad translation. So, uh, like, a bad game can still be a good time, and I don't think that this is a bad game. No. Uh, but I I have fun whenever I see weird translation stuff like that because I'm just like, ah, they tried. <laughs> they, they did their best, and their best is not great. They tried and failed, great. they tried and died. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they, they still did it, and I could still watch it, and I could, I'm could i still gaining uh, some entertainment value from it. And I don't, think, I don't think I saw anything today that completely shattered the illusion of this world or anything like no. that. No, all uh, your base are belong to us. Yeah, nothing quite, nothing quite so bad as that. But uh, I, no, I'm still having fun. I I, I like this, and uh, I, uh, I I I'm tube algorithm, and I'm like, man, that is such a pretty game. Ah, oh. I can't oh. wait. To, I can't wait to get to it. But to do that, we yeah. have to get through this first. So you're right. You're right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.